What's up everybody? Steve here with another Skate Spot Tour video. This time I'm in downtown Indianapolis at the Canal. Indie skaters know the Canal as an area with a ton of stuff to skate. I'm going to go through all the spots. Hopefully, um, if you see this video, you'll want to come check it out and skate some of the stuff here. Uh, but there's been a stuff, there's been a lot down here for a long time. Um, the canal continues to be kind of a go-to place, uh, particularly for people coming in from out of town. So some of the spots you may recognize from uh, videos that you've seen. Um, I know the Converse team came through recently and filmed a bunch of stuff down here. Um, same with the Crooked team. And um, if you go way, way back in time, uh, Jeff Kendall skates uh, this area as well. Now it was remodeled um, uh, kind of in between those two timelines, but uh, needless to say, there's a lot down here to skate and hopefully you'll, you'll see something you like. All right, so the first spot in the canal that I want to show you all is the canal ledges um, or big three, which, whichever you want to call them. I call them the canal ledges. But basically, it's a bunch of uh, granite ledges um, that have been waxed. The ground is kind of rough, but um, these are super long, good for nose and tail slides. And you have a lot of options for lines as well. Um, so as you can see, these ledges are roughly, I would say 12 to 14 inches tall. So you can see my board there in comparison. I ride like an eight and a half, so it's a little bit, um, you know, not quite double. So about, about 14 inches tall. And they are about 30 feet long. Um, and if I go up to the top here, uh, you can kind of see how you actually have to carve around if you're going to actually jump them because um, there's not a lot of run up but uh, that's not a bad thing i've seen plenty of people kind of skate and then do something out into them you just have to be careful of the fact that you do have the canal right there um, but this one is a, a good spot to, to get some tricks on for sure Next we have the Water Company Big Three, and this is a typical gap spot. Um, you're gonna see this one skated probably not as much, but it does skate like a, a six stair. Um, some options to, to do tricks down, but usually it's fenced off as you can see um, for concerts and stuff like that. But I wanted to show this one real quick just because um, it is part of the overall canal area and something that uh, people definitely enjoy skating. Um, but yeah, this is this one you used to get kicked out a lot. I haven't skated it in a long, long time, so I have no idea what the status is now. But, um, you know, it's another, another thing to, to skate here. There's another big three that I'm going to show you, um, but it's not as... Um, you know it's it's not it doesn't skate like a ledge um but it is a, a pretty good good size gap so we'll go check that one. this is a little interesting one that just wanted to point out but um you do have these kind of flat bar things uh that are just kind of separating the canal from the rest of the the, the walking area um so you could get tricks on these as you can see um some people definitely have done that but um I don't know that I'm I'm too eager to skate this just because I don't want to wind up with a waterlogged board. Um, there's also a ton of stair sets in this area. They don't really get skated that much um, just because they're long, as you can see on this one, uh, really long six stair, and the run up to them is pretty rough. Like you go from brick to concrete to granite. Um, and there's like a real kind of gnarly bump here that you'd need a sign for. And then the landing's not very good, big cracks and stuff like that. So if you did want to skate these, you're welcome to repair them, but um, nobody's really bothered with these um, and for good reason. Uh, so I would just say for those of you who are checking this out on like Google Maps and stuff like that, um, the stair sets just really aren't that good. You do occasionally find some ones that you can skate, like this one's not bad. Um, the landing's a little bit sketchy with that drainage 
uh, thing, but yeah, you can make it work. And then you've got some really good flat ground area here. I like these bricks and skating on them. It sounds good. They're pretty smooth. You typically don't have too many areas where you get stuck. So it's good for, good for flat ground and you'll see people skating it that way. All right, now we have reached the final spot in the canal that I wanted to show you and it is the big three at the NCAA headquarters. Um, so this one shows up in a lot of videos. That's because in addition to skating it like a big three, it's also got some wall ride potential. Um, this brick wall, see if I can show you it, but you do get a little bit of an angle. Let me back up to see if I can show you the full potential there, but it does, it does have an angle to it. So you do get an opportunity to do a wall ride. I, I wouldn't say easily because I'm not a wall rider, but um, some options there. And then the big three itself, um, I would say it's, it's probably the height of an eight and the length of a nine. Um, may, uh, maybe, not, maybe not quite that long. Length of a seven, height of an eight. Um, it's kind of burly, but uh, as you can see from where I'm standing, it's not, it's not bad. And while the landing is a bit rough, um, the run up to it is really, really good. Uh, it's a bit short, but you got plenty of room and you do have options to kind of warm up just skating the two and then the single block. Um, so if you're not quite comfortable with it, uh, well, good news is, is that you can uh, have something else to warm up on. So this is like the, probably this and the ledges are the two most significant spots within the canal area that people go skate. So um, hopefully you find something that you like um, between those two and get some clips and post them on the internet and put Indianapolis on the map. All right, so that does it for me. Um, hope you like this skate stop. All right, that does it for me. Hope you like this skate spot tour video. Um, I'm going to try to pump out more of these in the Indianapolis area, so stay tuned for more. I already did one at the War Memorial Plaza, so you should check that one out on my channel. Obviously, there's plenty of skate park tour videos to watch as well. But if you want to see some other part of Indianapolis, especially if you're local and you want me to do a tour, just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get over there and, and do a tour of it. Um, but thank you for watching. Enjoy, get some clips, and have fun.